Hi, it's Faye from Faye's Journal Emporium. Welcome back to my channel. Thank you for joining me today, and thank you to all my subscribers. I have a new journal I'd like to share. It is from uh, based on a digital kit by Ephemera's Vintage Garden, uh, Debbie Ann Parent, and the kit is called Lady Eleanor's Journal. My mom's name was Eleanor, so it kind of has a special place in my heart. Anyhow, I made this journal. Uh, she has two signatures, measures eight and a half by six, has a one inch spine, um, two signatures, 140 pages. And I have used um, various digitals. I'll mention those as I go along. I don't want to take too much time with that. I just really want to share what I've done. Um, on this journal, I it's a soft cover and I've used some uh, reproduction 1800s fabric for the cover. And this is a uh, cabinet card that just slips in to the front. I've added a vintage button and some pressed uh, leaves that I have and some Tracy labels from Tracy Fox. And uh, that's the back of it. There is, it ties shut with a sari silk closure, which I have attached to the spine. Um, the spine has a piece of vintage lace and there is a vintage button that matches the one on the card. So let's get started. <clears throat> I wanna be sure I'm in frame here. Okay, um, there is a tuck spot here that has another little vintage uh, card. This was a postcard and I've attached another um, little leaf and this is from the uh, digital kit. And those just slip right in there. And then there is a bookmark here inside a vellum uh, protector that I made. And you can use that to mark your pages or whatever. There are three um, little charms. Um, there's a little heart charm here on the first page. Sorry, silk ruffles. Um, I have used several eco-dyed uh, kits. One is uh, from Debbie Ann, one is Jebed Neary's, and this is from Took's Craft Table. And then there are some, uh, I printed on vellum, so there's some echo dyed uh, prints from that too, and I believe those are from Nick the Booksmith. Coffee dyed paper, Edith Holden, um, some Avocado dyed paper, uh, uh, doily and um, muslin. Some more echo prints. This came with a kit. It's a little envelope and it has uh, a little picture inside. And there's a couple of those. And then there's a flip here. Um, it has three pockets. I've put a little paper clip there to hold it shut while I turn the page. Um, there's a little three pockets. There's a little print here that you can journal on. Then there's a, a little um, Tim Holtz person and I've given her some leaf wings. There's another card here. These are from uh, Artie May's ta tag fabrication with uh, Tracy Fox. And then there's a larger one, larger tag here that I have embellished with some stamps and uh, another leaf and a, a photo uh, reproduction photograph. And then this all flips out like this so there's more journaling space there. There's a, a piece of braille paper that I spray, uh, tea dyed and sprayed. And there's a pocket here with uh, another tag that I made using one of the prints. And then another little one with some vintage ledger and a Tracy label and a Tim Holtz paper doll. And then this is from the Graphics Fairy. And all of these have journaling space on the back. This is part of one of the printouts from the 
from the kit. It's absolutely beautiful. The idea is that um, Lady Eleanor, um, this is her journal, and she fills it with photographs of her family and friends and uh, cutouts from magazines, for fashion magazines from the time period that she's in, and uh, old letters and um, pressed leaves. So you'll find those all in here. It's another print, and then there's a little leaf print here. And then this is one of our fashion prints that she's kept from Harper's Bazaar. And then there's two more echo prints that have space for writing on. Then this is some mulberry paper. And then this uh, vintage uh, reproduction photo. And then this is from uh, Robert Louis Stevenson, a poem on autumn fires. In the center fold, some more sari silk, another little print, and whoops. And then I've done some um, collaging on several of the pages that were uh, plain. And this is um, a reprint from a magazine that I have, and some vintage stamps and a doily there. Some more prints. And then this is a vintage postcard um, with a two cent stamp that you can journal on. And then this is a reproduction of a postcard. This came from um, um, Ephemeris Garden also. And just a piece of um, ledger paper. And then here's another uh, journaling card. And then here's another um, reproduction print, and I've put a, a, a leaf and a definition of forest, and that's from uh, Tracy Fox. And then this is, again, one of the little echo prints that comes with the kit. Some more of that beautiful paper, some lace, and this is another one, uh, cutout that she decided to paste in her journal from Harper's Bazaar and a piece of vintage lace. And then this idea um, I got from um, Wendy at Wendy's Journal Adventures. She was doing this for a Christmas journal. And these are some reproduction uh, print fabrics from the 1800s. This is the one from the cover. This is a piece of grosgrain ribbon and a piece of velvet ribbon and a piece of vintage lace. And that just clips over the page. And then there is on this side, there's writing space here. And then uh, a little pocket here with some vintage ledger on it. And then this was in the kit. And here's another little um, tag that I've stamped and another little, another little tag. Avocado dyed paper. I love the color that it matches it so beautifully. Another tea stain doily or avocado dyed doily. There's another card that I made using a vintage uh, a reproduction photo and ticket. And there's journaling space on the back of that. That just tucks in here. And then this is another one of the leaves that I have pressed. And um, all of the leaves that are pressed have, um, oh, they've been laminated. I'm sorry. Just trying to think of the word that has some vintage lace on it. And then this is a little uh, tuck spot, and this is a vintage tintype, or what they used to call ferrotypes. And this is um, from Jordan Brothers in Genes on Genesee Street in Utica, New York. So that's an actual uh, ferrotype. And we've got some more of that digital. And here's a little leaf print. It's the end of the first signature, and here's your second signature. Lots of journaling space. You can write on all of these papers. They're just so pretty. I did another um, collage uh, with some stamps. Um, this is actual um, a copy of the paper that I had um, for Universal Button Fasteners. They came in little envelopes, and I actually have, have found some of those in an antique shop. And another leaf. And here's our vintage ledger. This ledger is from uh, 1873. And there's a couple of 
little echo dyed places, prints, and places to journal, and another little leaf. And there's another uh, page that I collaged. This is from the Graphics Fairy, and this is, um, oh, can't think of it, eucalyptus leaf. Some tea stained doily, some of those echo prints from Jib Jibineri, and there's another one, just so pretty with the purples in there. It worked so well with this with the colors in the book. And then I did a cutout and made a little envelope here, and here's another little journaling card I made. Um, and then this is a field record and the little Tim Holtz girl with the little wings and some stamping and. Uh, Tracy labels. Some more avocado dyed paper. And this is another um, one of the Harper's Bazaar illustrations. Uh, this is from um, Debbie Ann. Some um, vintage um, velveteen ribbon. And then this is actual an actual piece from a uh, sleeve um, from the early 1900s. Here's another one of the postcards with journaling space. And here's another flip. And there's a tuck spot here with a ticket. Or a tag, rather. And here's another tag that I made with that tag kit. And then here's a little girl, another Tim Holtz paper doll. with. Uh, and this time I used leaves that were pressed and laminated. And then here's another... Uh, tag that I made with a Tim Holtz uh, paper doll and some little pictures. And then this flips here and you've got journaling space here and here and that sorry silk and some vintage lace. And this is another Edith Holden tuck spot here. Straw paper. It's the center fold and there's a little key charm. And then there's another photograph and a ticket, or tag rather, it just fits in that little tuck spot there. And here's another envelope that came with the kit. Beautiful, beautiful echo dyed papers. And then this is a Tim Holtz um, portrait. And I left it, um, I glued it here and here so that you could tuck these pieces in and this is her friend and her friend's little boy and her friend's husband and this is from uh, Graphics Fairy. It's one of those beautiful echo dyed and then this is uh, eco dyed and then there's an envelope here there's one in the front too that I did not seal that you can just write on and that just tucks in here another one of the tags, and then this huge leaf. There's another um, page that I put the leaf on. And here's the other side of that beautiful ledger paper. Um, I think they used uh, walnut ink on this. It's a brown ink. A little piece of the fabric. And another little tag, and then this is a vintage uh, cabinet card of a little little girl or a little boy. Um, and I th I think it's a little boy because it says Arthur G. Thompson, I think, on the back. It's a cute little little person. And then my last um, collaged paper, and this has the sorry silk and the. Uh, vintage stamps, and again, the picture from the magazine that I have, and then there's an antique button there. And there's the sorry silk on the back. And the, uh, this is a Tim Holtz uh, cotton fabric that's the, the inside cover. So that's her. Um, I hope you like her. She will be available in my Etsy shop. Thank you so much for watching. Have a nice day.